Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And make sure that you click the join button next to the subscribe button if you wanna be a Lola and be a part of the chatterbox. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join the chatterbox. It is $1.99 per month and all of that is handled directly through YouTube. Anyway, first off, I just wanna say thank you guys for supporting my channel. Thank you guys for supporting my work. And I also want you guys to know that this is baby Sasha. Sasha got piggy tails and I know they're sticking up all over the place. Yes more straight hair so it don't curl and <laughs> and I just wanted to give her some of those little piggy tails because I felt like I was like oh she got a little bit of hair a little length here she got some inches you know so I thought oh, I'm gonna play with it a little bit so anyway me just being silly with Sasha Poo but I just wanted to show her she is my Gabriella Sleep um sculpted by Claire Teller painted by me I have painted I forgot I haven't kept up with the number it's somewhere around 15 or 16 of the Gabby Gill asleep and awake mostly been asleep I don't paint the awake that often um but I will be painting awake up soon um as a private order so I will be um doing a Gabby Gill awake um uh, for that purpose also um She's just a good size. She's a very versatile baby. A lot of people make her as a toddler, which is fine. You know, like I said before, whatever floats your boat and your, you know, what you see your babies as is all on you. Um, for me, she's just still a baby between three, three to six months. Um, so I don't know. I would even say. Yeah, so I just wanted mine to be more of a younger baby. And I forgot that she even had a magnet because I barely put a pacifier on her. But um, she does, she can take a pacifier. But anyway, today I want to pan over and show you guys Miss Piper. Piper is half pint by Marita Winter. She's a micro creamy. She's 15 inches long. Um, oh, uh, Sasha is about 22 inches. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so Piper is about 15 inches. She is, like I said, a, considered to be like a micro preemie. So that is her up close. Um, and then we have, uh, we have. Phoenix. So let me see if I can get close up on Phoenix. And Phoenix has a modified pacifier in his mouth, and I sh could take it out. Let's see. But he's just chilling. He wants his pacifier, guys. So that is my Phoenix. So let's see if we can get them all in the frame so I could talk to you guys about why I have all of them sitting here. Actually, the two were here already. Sasha and Phoenix was already in the bed. Um, and he is, you know, just watching and seeing what, <laughs> making sure she doesn't wake up, I guess. I don't know. But um, it's kind of crazy for me because I've never been a toddler fan nor have I believe it or not have n was not a preemie fan in vinyl I like the preemies in um in silicone but I've never really loved them in um I've never really loved them in in um vinyl because I used to think they just I just wouldn't bond with them in vinyl you know um silicone it, it's it's a because of the different medium and the way that it moves and stuff some stuff is just more acceptable in silicone than it is in vinyl if that makes sense so I always was like steering away from you know the little tiny reborns um I always liked 
newborn up to maybe the biggest would be a baby that fit three to six month size. And I rarely had them that fit three to six month size. It was mostly newborn or, you know, zero to three months um, was my main go-to size when I was picking out babies or kids or what actually. So basically, I don't feel like I pick the kid. I feel like they pick me because it's like I'm not like I can say I have a type and I like this and I like that. But over the years, I've proven myself wrong over and over again that I tend to like whatever pulls me in. Even with sculptors, there are some sculptors I'd be like, uh-uh, never. Uh, I don't want it. I don't like her work. I don't like her sculpting. It's not my thing. And then 10 kids later, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I gotta get that baby. And it's by that one sculptor that I said I would probably never have their work in my collection. So the whole point of the video is, is to say, don't put yourself in a box. Don't like just stop looking at certain sculptors or certain artists or certain things because things change over time and you never know what might pull you in. But I notice when you start closing off, closing doors off, you miss a lot of stuff. Um, it's just like when I had a tunnel vision and I was just collecting, you know, I was really like very, very just focused on just Clarentella dolls, um, silicone babies. And so I really, you know, I got so attached to her work and her sculpts that I really wasn't paying attention to what else was out there a whole lot. I mean, I've seen a couple things, but it was just like, eh, 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 eh. And then even if I liked something, I was afraid to bring it home because it was like, I'm probably not going to connect with it. But I brought a couple home and over the last year or so, and I found that I do like other, you know, other um, sculpts and other silicone babies. So I'm like, okay. So now that I've been painting, I'm like, I've been trying to broaden my horizon on painting different sculptors, vinyl kits as well. It's like, it's like I'm in a whole new candy store. And so for that reason alone, I know I'm not done collecting and just to, you know, um, Kay was um, talking, K Times Nursery, two K Times Two Nursery was talking about um, like, are you ever satisfied? And I was looking at that video and I'm like, no, cause you know, you a collector is a collector. Like I realized, I'm like, oh my God, I got a sick addiction to collecting diapers there's no reason why i have this many diapers in my collection and still buying diapers it is freaking crazy it's irrational it's just it's, it's not even sane it doesn't even make sense i can tell myself that even i will even admit to that it's the most craziest thing why am i collecting all these diapers and it's like these babies are never gonna use all these diapers but i do sell dolls so i try to justify it like that so i'm like okay when i send the babies home i can send diapers with them and then somebody have a baby or a baby shower come up sometime i'll send a pack over or you know a part of their gift or something like that so i try to justify it like that but really there's no justification for it another thing i have a huge fetish with blankets baby blankets and it's so bad that I go to buy, for instance, prime example, I went to buy a blanket for Makai um, or Micah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna name a baby Makai. Um, but I went to um, buy a blanket for Micah and I ended up with, I don't even know how many blankets. You know what? Hold on, I'm gonna go get them and show you guys. I wasn't gonna show you guys these because I neatly hung them up in the closet. I had already neatly hung them up in the closet, so I didn't plan to show you guys, but let me see if I can get over here. Oh my God, I got these lights in here because it's like in the wee morning, and so the lighting sucks. So, well, you know what? I'm gonna leave this one here. And I'm going to move this one over. And I'm going to do it like this. And I don't want nothing to 
So this is what happened when I went in for one blanket. I'm just saying. <laughs> Something is wrong with me. I know I got them for babies that are going to go home, but I could have waited. I, I have no baby that's going home anytime soon. And so I just, I basically took as many as I could that was not the same. Some of them are kind of the same. So I got this one, this print. And then I got this one. And then I had to get this one on my way out the door. I thought I was done. And then I saw this one, right? And I was like, oh, that's so neutral and it's so pretty. And I'm probably gonna keep, this is the, this is the kicker now. I say, oh, and get them because I got babies going home. No, some of them I will end up keeping for my personal c collection. Like the elephant one of this color. Mm, yeah, that was gonna probably be mine. Um. Then I have to get, you know, the boy stuff. And I get them for good prices. Like they were like $6.99 and stuff. But really nice. Um, this one was still in the plastic. Like. Because this is what I wrap my babies in. I don't do the whole bubble wrap thing for the most part. Um, Sometimes I do like. When I sent Cody home, I think I put a little bubble wrap on him. But, um, yeah, so I, I love this one. I got actually dresses and stuff in this color print. In fact, one is right here. I just took off of um, Sasha. So I like those colors. And then I was like, ooh, I got an outfit. Somebody got, I got some outfits like this. So I got this and it's really not that cute, but it kind of matched the outfits that I got. So that one probably gonna be a personal one. This one I already had, sorry, I didn't mean to grab this one, but this one I already had from a previous shop. And this one is a personal one cause I have an outfit to match that. Um, then I bought this one. I mean, well, th this was all the same visit. I saw this one. And I was like, oh, it's got the headrest and all this stuff. So it was a little bit more pricey than the other ones. But I was like, it's still a good price. I really like that. Sometimes I be needing bigger ones for bigger babies. So I thought I was done, right? I get up in the line. And when I get up in the line, they got blankets literally up in the line. Like people normally have candy and crap there. No, they had blankets. They just won't let me live. So I had to get it in blue because I was like, oh my God, the blue is so pretty. So basically, let me sit these over here. So basically, this hobby, so when you're a collector, I realized, and somebody told me this a while back, and I was like, eh, whatever. But now I see what they're saying when they say, when you're a collector, you pretty much, you will collect, you, you always collect something. So, if I'm not collecting dolls, like I say, I'm like, oh, I'm going to save my money and I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to buy, um, any dolls anytime soon. Then I go to collecting clothes. Then I go to collecting, um, if I don't, clothes, diapers, blankets. Um, at one point I started collecting baby bottles, which I, I only was looking for really odd ones, but, um, yeah now i also realize that i don't have that many pacifiers so i'm like oh i need to collect more pacifiers so it's always something that we collect like i don't know but i would love to hear from you guys like what are some of the things that you have really found that you're obsessed with just as much as the dolls that is a part of you know your doll um habit or hobby because <laughs> like um yeah so um baby accessories and stuff like that i don't really collect a whole lot of that because it gets very pricey and i don't have the space for it but i do really love looking at baby accessories and it's like my whole dream right now is to have my nursery to be really pretty and flowing i cannot get this nursery to flow right to save my life it's like it's just too much going on in here and i just I just I almost hate it right now 
I'm very, that's a whole nother video all in itself. But I'm so miserable with this, the way the nursery is right now. So that is actually what I've been working on for the last couple of days, trying to <clears throat> go ahead and get some stuff out. And then I need to, st I'm going to start, you know, like packing up baby stuff because, um, you know, making um, like two separate piles. Um, two babies just was born, a friend of my daughter's and um, a family, our family member, which is a very close family member. So, but they're girls and I really like kind of don't give away a lot of girl stuff, but I'm going to try to make two piles of stuff and try to go ahead and, you know, purge because that's my problem too. Like it's like clutter in here because I'm like storing stuff under the beds. Um, I bought these little um, thingies. Like I'll have to show it to y'all, but they slide up under the cribs and it's like, I got a whole thing of blankets under there, a whole thing of diapers under there. I got like three different bins of diapers. I got diapers in my other, in Gabby's second bedroom. Um, it's just ridiculous. Like for real, it's really ridiculous. Um, and I want to, I feel like if I don't start purging some of this stuff, I'm never going to get my nursery to even look, you know, nice. I, I want to be able to walk in and feel relaxed. Right now, I walk in and I have anxiety because it's too much going on. So, I think, and plus I work better, but I'll tell you the truth, I kind of zone out. When I get in my work, my work part, I kind of zone out over there and I don't really worry about it. But I do seem to feel better when I come in and it's like everything's all organized so that's where I'm at guys I know this video kind of talked about a little this and a little that but um I'm trying to just talk about things as they come up in my mind um because I've been doing YouTube for so long chill it I've really there's really not much I haven't said already as far as some of the other stuff so I just kind of like to talk about the current situations and what's going on with me and you know hopefully you guys are enjoying the chats and the topics um but yeah i yeah so i have another uh video or a live stream that i want to do and i'm going to talk about some other things and i'm trying to write them down so i don't forget so guys stay tuned make sure you got your alerts on so that you know so when i go live you guys can come and see me because i don't get to see you guys live as much and i know i've been extremely busy but this weekend i'm hoping or you guys might see this after the weekend you might i might actually be actually been and did the live but i really want to like see y'all again <laughs> so all right guys bye